Garrett, when you first signed here, uh, a lot was made of the story of you asking Matt Blake uh, if he'd ever done a pitching change, or if he'd ever come out to a mound before. How have you graded, or how do you just think he's done so far helping you with in-game adjustments through your first nine, ten starts this year? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have a grade for him. Uh, it's... Uh not really my job I don't think but I, I mean he's he's been very helpful um it's been very helpful transferring uh uh you know some of the analytics some of the advanced metric stuff that that we have into uh for lack of a better word layman's terms um you know trying to keep stuff simple knowing knowing what adjustments to make but not not too much so um our relationship has grown uh, quite a bit over the last six, seven weeks, and uh, it's been going in the right direction. So, in, in mid game, he's been able to break that stuff down to you um, on the mound, clearly, concisely. Oh, certainly. Like, I mean, I don't think he's talked to me on the mound, but maybe once or twice. But uh, in between innings, uh, it's constant conversation uh, that not only he's involved in, but the catcher and the manager as well. So, thank you. We'll take the next one from Bob Clappish. Hey, Garrett, um, can you describe what's going on in that clubhouse right now over the last week or so? I mean, Luke spoke last night of his growing frustration, understandably. Uh, and I'm, I'm just curious as to your take on it, what you see and what you sense. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I see a team that's struggling. I see a team that's fighting hard to, to get out of the struggle. Um, you know, the... The preparation and the intent to get better hasn't wavered at all. Uh, you know, I've been to some other organizations, and uh, uh, you know, we've we've I've played at at this mark before, this 500 mark before, and um, you know, it's fascinating to see how hard the people work here and and uh, how much intent goes into the preparation to try to get better, regardless of the record. So, you know, I can only draw based on my past experiences and. Um, we're doing all the right things. We just got to find a way to find a way to get, get, you know, get that last, get that last base hit, get that one base hit, make that one big pitch. Oftentimes we're, we're, we're that close, but yet so far at the same time. Thank you. Next one goes to Andy Martino. Garrett, uh, could you talk a little bit about what you've seen uh, from Davey Garcia so far? Uh, does he seem, his repertoire seemed kind of polished for a rookie, and uh, why do you think maybe that fastball plays up a little more velocity than than it actually maybe is? Um, well, I really like him. I think his I think he's fit in really well. He's got a professional approach, especially for a, a young guy, both on and and off the field. So it's you know always encouraging when you see somebody of that age take his profession uh, so seriously, and uh, I think it shows up. Um, you know, kind of in the results and some of the compliments that you just paid him in terms of, you know, the quality of his fastball and and the quality of his ability to go out and make pitches in a big league game. Um, I think uh, I think he's got a little bit of a sneaky delivery. I think that's definitely what plays uh, to his advantage. Um, deception, uh, certainly not height height in terms of tallness wise, uh, but yet a different angle and and. Uh, a, uh, not not a good look at the baseball, um, and then the ability to move it in, out, up, down, strikes with the curveball, uh, balls with the curveball, uh, good changeup to keep guys off the fastball. It's it's about as complete of a repertoire as as you can have uh, as a young kid for sure. Um, so he's he's got a lot of room to grow, but 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 he's been he's been really good for us to start off, and and we're really proud of him. <laughs> 